All right, guys, this won't be the most entertaining video. I just love Heroes of the Storm, and it's a fantastic game. The only problem is it's full to the guilds with cheaters, and nobody believes me. I explain this in-game, and I'll even call what's going to happen before it happens. I say, guys, here's what's going to happen because it's been happening all day. We're going to play. Maybe they'll get two kills, which is not a lot. We'll lane exactly the same as they do. They'll be up two levels for no explainable reason. And they'll go, well, they lane better. I'm like, we were in lanes the entire match. They have two levels up for no... And they'll go, well, they got two kills. Two kills is not two levels. So every single rebuttal I hear for why they're ahead and they just don't want to acknowledge there's cheating going on is a reason we should be winning. It's so fucking stupid. So that's what happens. They'll get level 10, we'll get level 8, meaning they get early access to their ults, which means they can just run in. And what I believe is happening is there is a scripting package you can buy. And Blizzard has already sued companies for selling exclusive uh, scripter packages. Uh, yeah, I mean, Overwatch had one. It's still going on now. They're, it's All these companies are making money hand over fist selling scripts for Blizzard games. So this one here must fly under the wire. It must exploit something that just can't be caught. But what happens is, they get level 10, we get level 8, they always get level 21st, they generally stay up two levels no matter what. And even if they're destroying us, there's still only two levels. Because the EXP thing, the amount of EXP they get, cuts off as soon as they get two levels up. Because if they're up seven levels, we're going to go, bullshit. But if they're always up two, you're never going to suspect. At least your average HOTS player won't. Refuses to acknowledge, refuse to even entertain the idea that the game is full of scripters. So they get level 10, we get level 8, we might get one fort by accident. That happens a lot. And they will, and I always say this, at minimum triple our kill score, because I've seen it go up to 10. So when these three things happen, I generally report every team. And I've heard all kinds of excuses as to why they won. Well, they had better composition. We had better composition last game. Same thing happened. Well, they lane better. We have lane better. And the same thing happened. Well, they're better at team fighting, and they're all stuck together. Well, if they're all stuck together, they're not in lane, and we should be able to push and get more EXP. So whatever reason they give me for why the enemy team is winning is actually a reason why we should be winning. So I've reported, one, at one week, 100, 100 guys. That's, you know, 20 teams. And when I come back, what I do is I hit report, I put them down for cheating, and then I write just, you know, a general, I think these guys are cheating, or specifically, this guy has got a map hack because he saw me in the darkness, blah, 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 blah. And I'll report these guys, and the next day I come in, their accounts turn into T, colon, and a string of numbers, and it's always random, because they've been banned. There was one guy I reported because I just didn't like him, because he was just a lippy asshole hipster piece of dog shit, and he stayed on my block list, because he didn't get banned, because he didn't do anything actually wrong. He was just being a lippy, just piece of shit. So, these guys are, and I wasn't sure if they're actually getting banned or not, I've questioned that. But then what I did was, this is my secondary account. My first account got banned because I get really lippy when, you know, if somebody blasts me, I let them have one. And if they keep going, I'm like, okay, let's fight to the death and you will submit. Because my tongue and my wit is much sharper than yours. So I don't, you know, use my gifts for evil. But if somebody is going to attack me, I see no reason not to defend myself. And unfortunately, I'm very good at defending myself, so uh, my first account did get banned. I'd said a lot of awful things, to be fair. Yes, yes I did. But second account, I've only humiliated them with just logic. No, no actual personal attacks, nothing like that. And I have not had any problems. So Blizzard just doesn't want you to use certain words. Like if you're swearing a lot, if you're using uh, the F-bomb as a way to get uh, kick quickly, so is the R-word and the N-bomb. If you say any of those... And what will happen is I'll have a guy argue with me and he's just being a hipster, toxic asshole. Like, enemy team is obviously cheating. Blames me specifically. Well, you're not killing the entire team by yourself, so you suck. And then I keep taunting him. Like, oh yeah, sorry, you're doing amazing. And just keep poking at him. And if he lets it go, fine. If he doesn't, he'll eventually get mad, use one of the banned words, and then I go, gotcha. Then I report him and he's banned. So, stop being a hipster. All right. Two things that decide who wins a Heroes of the Storm game. There's two things, your skill level and the enemy skill level. And the second part is something no one ever thinks of. They always go, we just suck. Well, let's look at what they're doing, how they never miss and are always perfect and always jumping out of the fucking bushes and catching us. We never catch them off guard. Every click they make is perfect. They function as a five-man perfect unit with one brain. Um, nobody can beat that. Nobody. So don't blame your teammates. And if they are sucky, well, QM, the quick match, that's where you learn. We'll go play bots. Well, I've played bots, and they can't teach me anything, so that's why I'm here. To challenge actual real players. 
So unfortunately, this game is full of hipsters. It's also, you know, okay, it's the internet. I know, it's full of toxic dinks. These trolls are just, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand pecking on somebody when they're frustrated. And if you grew up when I grew up, which was the 80s, you didn't do that because the guy was going to find you and beat the shit out of you. And then you all of a sudden you had a better attitude towards them. Oh! Well, these little hipster turds have never had somebody grab them by the throat and lift them off the floor. And if they did, they'll go, what are you doing? Well, you've been picking on me for an hour and antagonizing me and making fun of my mom and dot, dot, dot when I was already frustrated. So I felt no need not to put you through a wall. You became a traveler and traveled through a wall. How was that? So these hipsters don't have that in their life. So they feel no problem with just... You know, telling you should kill yourself. Blah, 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 all this dog shit. Yes, I get it. The world's full of toxicity. I mean, what do you want? So, uh, yeah, I report anybody who's cheating, I suspect, and uh, anybody who's toxic. And a lot of the toxic guys, not all of them, but most of the time they can't help themselves and will keep doing it to others until eventually they get rolled. And I'm not like most hot players. I just don't want to roll a team. I don't like going in with no challenge and we just win. I actually, like, I hate winning that way, and it almost never happens. And I hate losing that way, which almost always happens. Another thing is, there hasn't been a close game in this game in forever. So what happens is we start playing. Uh, they either stomp the shit out of us, or, option B, stomp the shit out of us, we manage a comeback. There's no, like, okay, they're just learning, they're brand new to the game, they're maybe not the most experienced. They know all of their heroes, inside and out. They know all of our heroes, inside and out. They know every map, inside and out. Where all the choke points are, when to go in, when not to go in. Exact perfect timing with all their ults. Like, you got to start asking questions if 10 games in a row go like this. Like, there is not that much skill or luck in the entire fucking world added up, as you'll see in three games of this, fighting against guys that are scripting. So the whole reason I ranted like this, because I've been trying to get this shit off my chest and line everything up, and I figure we're in this uh, sickness time, and, well, why not start posting videos, because I'm lazy. Uh, i got to stop being lazy. So... I report them, uh, you know, give them a basic reason. Here's why I think they're cheating. I don't even give a specific reason most of the time, and it still works. Then I put them on my block list. They go to my block list, and they'll sit there for maybe, I think the longest, the longest I've seen it is one day over a day, day and a half. Shortest I've seen it, I reported them. Ten minutes later, they were all banned. So if you report them specifically for cheating, and this is something that the HOTS community refuses to admit or even entertain, if... Oh, I'm not going to report somebody because they're good. You're not reporting them because they're good. You're reporting them because they are beyond pro players. And that if they're that good, why are they playing in QM? So report them if you suspect shit. Because if they are cheating, they get banned. You win, the community wins. If they aren't cheating, they don't get banned. They don't automatically just take action. Like I had a guy say, well, you're arguing with me, so I'm going to report you and you're going to get banned. I'm like, no. No, actually I won't because disagreeing with you is not a bannable offense. Stupid. And I didn't get, I didn't even get a warning, I didn't get nothing. And I think actually he got banned. <laughs> Stupid dinks. So, if you report them, they get banned, we win. If you report them, they don't get banned because they're just good, they win. And I win too because that way they're, you know, it's a, he's a fair player. So far, um, everybody, what one guy I've ever reported, have gotten turned into T colon and a bunch of letters. The one guy I just argued with and I didn't like him, I just blocked him, hoping he would get banned and he didn't. But every single other person I have reported has gotten banned. So, I mean, and I'll say this. Like, guys, I am reporting. Putting on the block list. Then I can see them. Then I can see their accounts don't exist anymore. One guy even uh, added him on my first account. Because I wanted to add him as a friend. And then wanted to see if his account got banned. I go back and I check the friend invite after he got banned from this account. The friend invite was also non-existent. Like I had never sent it because his account got it. Oh, so I uh, do have, I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'll show you guys this whole list of names has been banned and I've got three or four times I've filled this thing a lot, recorded, and I'm not trying to show you their names, like that's not the point why I'm doing this, even though I guarantee all these guys aren't going to exist tomorrow. It's to say, look how many times I've filled this and it's emptied and all these guys are banned. So do not, here's another rule of thumb, when you're playing Heroes of the Storm or any online game, do not ever assume what is happening is actually what's happening. Because unless the guy is in front of you and you can see his computer and see he's not running anything, he could be cheating. And there are soft and there are hard cheats. I know how this works. Some of the soft cheats will give you information, like it'll tell you when everybody's alts are up, but it doesn't actually affect the game code, so it's uncatchable. We should all be using this shit, apparently, because everybody's using it except me. 
Then there's hard ones that edit the game code, like things like, uh, and I'm not an expert. If you catch me, you know, okay, well, that's not exactly how it works. I'm just going based on experience and what I know. And there are hard ones that'll let you edit things like, uh, you know, aimbots and shit like that. Well, those are about, like macros or I don't fucking know. All I know is there are soft and there are hard cheats and the hard cheats will edit the game code. And those are easier to catch, of course. So, uh, yes, I will be posting tomorrow. I'll show you this whole list has become null and void, and I will be posting other lists. And I will be doing more videos, guys. I've just been lazy and actually enjoying myself because this time that uh, I'm enjoying off and not having to work because of what's going on in the world, for me personally, working out pretty good. I'm uh, <laughs> enjoying my time off. I pff, No kids, no, you know, no responsibilities. It's pretty much... Uh, oh, once in a while, I gotta fill out uh, EI or you know whatever. <laughs> but anyway, guys, stay vigilant and uh, report any wrongdoing.